sexy Sagittarius. How are you doing? I hope you're doing super fantabulous. This reading is for September for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Because we're listening for love with your thick, thick thighs, saving lives over there. Anyways, let's get on subject, okay? This reading is for September. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining with me and hanging out. Hopefully you'll like it. You'll hit that like, that share, and subscribe. And if you really like it, come hang out with me on Tuesdays at 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time on Instagram, okay? We do what's called happy hour. We have readings for 11.11 or 22.22. Now, with that being said, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. The way these reads are gonna go, we're gonna to go into a general we're going to go into a singles a couples and then all signs and stay tuned because you will have a money read this month okay that's on another video be sure to like that one too all right it's a lot of work y'all anyways let's jump into this september 1st uranus turns retrograde 27 degrees taurus until january 30th 2025 a lot of tension with wanting change a lot of spontaneous action and a lot of surprises along the way Pluto retrograde goes back into Capricorn until October 11th. So big changes with Uranus, spontaneous changes, and deep transformations with Pluto. And a lot of things coming to the forefront. On the second new moon in Virgo, 11 degrees. Uh, this is a lot about our personal goals. You might have had like a lot of psychic abilities hitting up. Like your intuition was on point. You just had feelings about things. You knew what was going to happen and it happened. Congratulations. And on the fourth, Mars moves into Cancer. And this energy is all about action oriented. But it's going through the murky waters of Cancer. A lot of emotions going on here. So you might find yourself um, wanting things to move quicker and doing things at a, like a slower rate, which can be very frustrating for fire signs. On the 17th, on the 9th, Mercury enters into Virgo. Mercury loves being in Virgo. Communication is going to be superb. Okay, we're going to be talking about it, being about it. We're on point. We're doing well. We're paying attention to details. On the 17th, buckle up, buttercup, because we are initiating Pisces Virgo eclipse season. Okay. So this is a full moon lunar eclipse. It's a partial uh, partial lunar eclipse on um, September 17th. And this is going to inspire you to get rid of a lot of blocks. You might get a lot of revelations during this time. And it's going to move you in a completely whole different direction. Now, on the 22nd, it's Libra season. Call up that sexy Libra and tell them hi. Take them out for a drink. And happy birthday, baby. All right. Let's get into the part of the reading where we do a yes or no question. I want you to hold that in your mind's eye. Question one. Question two. And the overall energy is the high priestess. We don't even need these questions answered because you already knew. How about that? That psychic ability. For question number one, it's going to be a no. It's the five of pentacles. Pay attention to your finances. Don't make that purchase. And whoever makes you feel like you're left out in the cold, they don't deserve you. For question number two, you have that of a yes. It's temperance, but a little take it easy. Okay, take your time. And you could be seeing the number 555 a lot this month. Now, this is a month of uh, a lot about partnerships coming up, okay? A lot about partnerships. The 13th could be important and the 4th could be important. Juno is an asteroid about partnerships and relationships. Then I do I do find it very interesting because when I shuffled, I got Juno, and then your animal energy was that of the parrot. The parrot is, is it's a lot about soulmate energy, and then they have the lovebirds there. So I do believe that you have really connected with someone, that you're really moving to the next level. This is a lot about you finding someone who understands you and listens to you and makes you feel like you're really connected. And that is just a beautiful energy. All right. This is a month full of opportunity for you. Release your ties to the past and let go and make room for this new energy that's coming in. Enjoy it. Embrace it. <coughs> have fun. So in your, in your love energy, you have the Ark of the Covenant. When this energy comes out, this is about contracts, agreements, soul contracts. But there is something being signed on the dotted line. The number 11 could be very significant to you this month. 11-11 and the 4th of uh, November could be very important or April 11th. Now, with this energy showing up for you, just know that that contract, that agreement, that movement, that desire to move forward 
coming up with the clearing of the path is saying you are free to move across, okay? Your roads are being open in love. Things are moving and grooving in the right direction. Beautiful, beautiful energy. So let's get into that general guidance. This is for couples and singles. This is just a general message. First card, we got none but a gold digger, okay? But we want commitment and... We need to pay attention to our health this month and overall open up your heart to love. Be open to more love. Pay attention to what's coming in with this energy. All right. Let me grab the right deck. Where's the right deck? Where did you go, friend? It's like I cleaned up my table because I was like, I'm not going to do Sagittarius's read because I'm tired. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it before I get, get ready to take a break. All right, Gold Digger, what do we have here? What's going on here? Twin Flames, okay? You feel very, like, we're polar opposites. Maybe it's not even that they're a Gold Digger, but they like to spend money and you're like a saver or you're a, sa or you're a spender and they're a saver. Okay, Commitment. You're ready to evolve in this relationship. You're healing, you're releasing your past, okay? And that's exactly what you should be doing. And you have got to put your health first, okay? And opening up your heart, stop fearing that the, the, so you're going to be abandoned. The codependency, um, I think it's called um, anxious attachment. So look into your attachment style this month and pay attention to what makes you feel more comfortable. You have to find something that complements you. All right, let's get into your read. I just grabbed this deck, so we're just going to go with the Kiats. We're going to see what they are meowing about. What does our beautiful Sagittarius need to know coming out? The hangman. Don't get tangled up into situations that keep you from trusting the universe. Okay? Get out of codependent relationships or situations that repeat the same narrative. Take your time moving forward. There is a little bit of heartbreak this month. It could be with an earth sign. It could be with a Capricorn. Does not matter, but you are done with it because you are healing. You are healing from this situation and you're ready for something new with the Page of Wands. So, very interesting energy here. If you look at this in the past, we have the hangman to the devil, hanging on to situations that keep us codependent and not into what we want. And although we're moving slowly, we are still healing from the heartbreak. So I don't know who broke your heart, Sagittarius. I don't know. But boo-boo on them, okay? Because I have to watch my mouth because I already got a lot of messages from YouTube today. And I'm not even allowed to monetize my videos, so whatever. The hangman wants you to be like the knight of wands. You've just got to go for it. You've got to put yourself out there. The devil with the queen of swords. We have got to cut something off. We have got to be about it. No, you can't come over. No, we can't be friends. And no, you can't hit it again. Okay? The knight of pentacles with the page of pentacles. I almost feel like you're just like kind of taking your coins back. Okay? The three of swords with the seven of cups. Yes, it hurt, but you don't even know which part hurt the most. You're like, I don't even know how to deal with this. But the star is coming through with the high priestess. You know there's better things to come. You know that you're evolving and things are getting better. And the page of wands says, wait for the nine of cups. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and lakes that you're used to, okay? Don't be going over there trying to get something that's not for you, baby, okay? Wait for what's for you. There's something beautiful coming your way. Okay, let's look at our beautiful singles and ready to mingle. What's going on with you guys? Where did these cards go? Where did I put them? Sometimes I've been putting too many cards on the deck, on the table and I don't know where they go. And then when I look for them, they're not where I want. Oh, it's right there in front of me. I think I am tired. <laughs> I need my glasses. Ah! Okay, let's see. For our beautiful singles, what do we have coming in for you guys? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get a good little shuffle. We have let it go, let it go, let it go. Let that cycle end, baby. And then we have ushers in the house, baby. They got a confession. If somebody's got something to tell you. They want to tell you something. Oh. And again, open up your heart. Okay, look. That's the read. Open up your heart, Sag. Fall in love. Believe in love. Do you believe in magic? Because I saw your cards and I was like, damn it, they're in partnership. They're about to get married. We're letting go of the cycles and then there's a huge confession coming in. I can't wait to see it. What are we letting go? 
What are we letting go? It was karmic, whatever we are letting go. Something that did not value you. And we are going towards something that does value us with the paradise. And the confession is coming from a soulmate. What is going on here? Why didn't no one tell me my hair was not brushed? Bothers me. Open your heart to the new phase. So you're moving on. You're moving up. There is a soulmate coming through. But it's like you have to let go of someone that did not see your value. And I think sometimes that reiterates that narrative of worthiness. What is going on here? I think I should go to bed. Like, I should go to bed. I should go wrap my head. Wrap my hair and put some oils in it, you know, and go to bed. All right, Sag, what do we got? We have the Page of Pentacles. So we want to initiate something new here. We want to focus on our hopes, our dreams, and our wishes, right? And then the tower happens. So we have to see that. We're releasing third-party relationships, and we're focusing on ourselves. Some of us are all also moving. Some about a, a sudden move, maybe for work relationship, work work relationships, ah, work-related re reasons. And here's that star again. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or you might have a lot of Aquarius energy in your chart. But there's this energy of a lot of healing, and you're moving forward. You're going to the next level. Things are getting better. The Nine of Cups by the Tower, I'm going to say 916 could be very important for you. The Ninth could be very important also. So let's look to the page says, look, the Moon and the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Pentacles. So here she is. She has this pentacle and she's like, I know I got to start over. I got to get in where I fit in. Then the full moon with the Ace of Pentacles. And this is significant to a revelation of a new beginning. Okay, and there's a lot of nines here, so I have 999. Um, that is also significant to major endings. The Nine of Cups with strength. Have strength to pursue what it is that you truly want. Have those difficult conversations with the Two of Wands so that you can get your Ace of Swords, your new beginning. So there's also something about a contract. You might be signing a contract for your new place, okay? The tower with the four of wands. There's something about the home. Something about the home is happening because we're not sure with the seven of cups. I mean, she's holding her own boobies up. Like, she's like, I got to hold myself together. Like, geez. And it came out of nowhere. Something just came out of nowhere, singles. You're just kind of shocked. You're like, I did not see this coming. But don't worry because you got your friends to pick you up and pull you along. Like, whoa. Whoa. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, they're like, no, nope. uh-uh, they, they can't come over, they can't come over, they're done. There's another nine, nine of swords. So this is an energy of your friends saying, look, we've had enough, you've had enough, we're moving you out, you're going to be fine, okay? Nine of Pentacles with the Knave of Pentacles, be careful because this person wants to come back and repeat the same story with you again. You're going to have to be the Queen of Swords in this situation and cut off that communication, all right, because you're healing. So the star is coming out twice. You're definitely healing a situation, and the star says Ace of Pentacles. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of wands the only thing that's missing is the ace of cups now what's interesting is that she has a cup here in the star where she is trying to pour okay so i feel like what you're doing is you're getting your finances your communication and your action together and your exit plan you're moving on and you're moving away from a situation that no longer feeds your soul because this is time for transformation this is your month of letting go of the bull bull caca okay the bull snarky or whatever it's called. I can't even say the words I want to say on here anymore. I need to just do OnlyFans or something. This is ridiculous. Not no, with my clothes on or, you know, but like I can't even speak the way I want to speak because YouTube's censoring everything. You're definitely moving on. You're moving to a situation that is much better. Um, I think that the person from the past did a number on you like mentally and maybe they want to come back. But I think you're like, no, I've got to stick to my guns. i got to move forward. You're very indecisive. They're very indecisive. They're like, wait, what about our soul contract? 
The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. They're very much missing you right now, and they're struggling because they need your forgiveness. And there could be religious differences between you guys that cause this to happen. If that person from the past could talk to Sag, what would they say right now? It would be, I want to treat you the way you deserve. They will never compare to you, so they left you for someone else. And I regret what I did to you. And overall, I've been manifesting you. So they're trying to have this like connection with you. You might even be dreaming about them, but they're just not the person for you. And I think this is where you do the um, no communication is the best communication. Because it's time to move forward and it's time to open your heart up to someone who is at your level. Okay, let's see who's coming in for you. Who's coming in for our beautiful Sagittarius? Is it me? No, I'm just playing. Sagittarius, I always like y'all, but y'all like me back. I really like y'all. Anyway, let's see. We have somebody who is, um, I want to say biracial, or you can't even tell what they are. They're very, like, you're like, what are you? Where are you from? Like, you're so exotic. Mixed, highlights, um, highlighted hair, Libra energy. Then we have tall. Okay, we have tall. They're very long and lean. Good posture, but they have, like, those bedroom eyes, okay? We have someone who's older than you. Also, this individual is very zaddy or sugar mama energy, okay? She probably looks a lot younger for her age, or he does too. A mature, mature energy. And then we have that of the ring. So round, fair face, Libra. Very beautiful, very beautiful individual. And then let's look at clues. So with the crossroads... And the cross with the lilies and the ring. I feel like this is a peaceful situation. You kind of like cross paths at a brunch. Y'all could go to brunch or have lunch together. The music is vibe. It's a vibe, okay? There's something about music. Y'all also are very much into yoga, working out. Y'all have so much in common. And I want to say something about jumping to conclusions about the connection. They're very musical. They're very into music or the performing arts, okay? All right, it's time to get into our couples. What's going on with you guys? Oh, it's better than these guys over here. What's up with our couples? What's up with our couples? What do we have with our couples? You know what? I didn't give you no guidance. Guidance for our singles. Guidance for our singles. Guidance for our signal. Signal. Singles. You're indecisive. Be open to love. Put your heart out there. Leave behind that trash and go get something better, okay? And if it's for the community, it ain't for you, Sag, all right? But look, someone is going to match that heart that you have. Someone is going to make that match, all right? Look, and at the bottom of the deck, carrying connections. It's coming once you release the Joker, all right? Release the Joker. They're going to be on your page like crazy. They're going to be looking at your social media. They're going to be trying to figure out why you're not entertaining them. Whatever. Val Elos. <laughs> when I was young, I had a, um, I think I was like in middle school. We had a girl from Denmark as an exchange student. And I remember she taught me whatever in Dutch. And I think it was Val Elos. I used to say it all the time. It just randomly came into my head. I don't know why. All right, couples, what do we have for you? Because it's a long day. Anyway, somebody's moving in, moving up, moving out, changing residence. We need to communicate, okay? And your guardian angel is right there behind you. Overall energy, let's take a trip. Let's go celebrate. All right, let's get more information on this. Where is this card? I want to beat the heck out of these cards. They just like keep hiding from me. All right, what's moving? What's moving? The runner. We're moving on from someone who is running from us, but we're we're um, communicating about making new memories with our new person. And our guardian angel said, "Look, enjoy your unconditional love, baby, because we brought it to you. And we are talking about going on a vacation. We're excited. We're looking at sights. We're having a good time. Everybody's on the." Ooh! Woo! Oopsie! <laughs> but nothing spilled. Nothing spilled. That's amazing. Okay, so what does that mean? I said talking and all this other kind of stuff, and I dropped my drink and nothing spilled. I'm going to say don't spill the tea this month. Just go on the vacation. 
Let's check in to see what your partner is thinking, all right? Your partner's story is the eight of wands. Let's get together. Let's have a good time. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's talk about it. Be about it. It's going to be fun and exciting. They are thinking about the king of swords. I believe they're trying to, like, communicate with you. They don't know exactly how to say something. This person that's with you is very, like, the word pensive comes to my mind. Like, they're really, like, calculated with how they say things. They see you as the tower. We'll have to clarify that. Why? And the six of swords. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. Because they see themselves as the turtle, right? Like, there's the turtle. But this turtle sees the rabbit. So I feel, this is what I'm feeling. Like, your person moves a little bit slower than you, okay? But, like, since they met you, their whole world has been, like, so different. They don't even know how to explain it. And you're like, catch up or I'm going to leave you. And they're like, my life has been better ever since you came into it. All right, how are they acting? Look, look I told you, they got the... They are so happy. They want to travel with you. They want to show you the world. They're excited. You have broke their, like, not broke their heart, but you have, like, broke the walls around their heart, okay? Or the walls around something else, all right? Four of Cups, baby. What's going on here? Um, and then we end with the Four of Pentacles. Overall energy is the Queen of Cups. Okay. They don't know how to express to you certain things. Sag, I think you're used to someone being like extremely into you. Like, oh my God, Sag, you're the best. Oh my God, Sag, you're the greatest. Oh, Sag, 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 Sag. And this person's like, I really had a great time. It's been fun. And inside, they're just like, oh, okay, like they're super excited. <laughs> but they're not showing that to you. But they are freaking happy. Eight of Wands, and they want to go on this trip. They're ready to travel, okay? They see you as the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is significant to let's get married, let's have children, and let's let's live together for the rest of our lives. And the wheel, okay? And I got to cover up the schnitties. Anyways, this double ten, they're super excited about a work situation also. Like, they're just like, since you came in my life, it's been amazing. The king of swords with the hermit. They're afraid if they don't speak up that they're going to lose you. They're like, Sag has got too many options. Like, if I don't speak up, I'm going to lose them. Ten of cups. I want to give them the world. They see you as the chariot. They're so glad that y'all cross paths. Let's check the chariot. Seven of cups. So, okay. The double seven here, there's a lot of sevens in your read. The double seven is they really feel like they won, like, so great. And what's so interesting is there's another, like, turtle at the bottom of this card. Like, turtles are significant. I do think that your person is very introspective. Like, they go within. They don't share a lot with you, and you're kind of freaking confused. Like, what the hell? Like, why don't you, like... Fall at my feet. I'm a Sagittarius, you know? And they're slow. They move slow. What are they lying about? Here's the King of Swords. They're not telling you how they feel because they're so freaking afraid that you don't feel the same way as they do. You know what? Clarify it. Why is the double King of Swords here? Yeah, they got their poker face. Sad, you don't even know if they like you. You're like, are you even into me? But they have an outdated way of thinking. And they are afraid that you won't give them a second chance. That you won't, like, if they make one mistake, you're going to cut them off. Like, they're deathly afraid of you. <laughs> I laugh, but it's not funny. Like, they're afraid to lose you. Four of Cups, why? Knave of Cups, they're afraid they're going to lose you. They're so in love with you. Four of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. Double Queen of Cups. Is this how they see Sag? Yes. They see you as this nurturing energy, this loving energy that they just want to be around all the time, but they act like they don't freaking care. Ugh. Queen of Cups, what are you doing up here at the Reed? King of Wands. You know what? If they don't show their passion and they don't show you how they really feel, you're going to go and bust it up with someone else. You don't have time for this. And that's where that tower comes in. Look, 
and I pulled it like this. You guys have some karmic energy with each other because I have the lovers and the devil right here. Okay, this is going to go two ways. Some of y'all are dealing with a partner who messed up in the past. They want to come back. They want to make it right. But they're so scared that they're kind of acting like nonchalant. And Sag don't play nonchalant. So you better be damn dirty chalant, okay? You better be extra with it. And if they don't... If they don't pull it together, you're going to go with someone else. Like, you're not playing this game with them anymore. So, this is their opportunity to step it up. Now, for others, there's a situation that, that you're feeling like your partner doesn't have as much love for you as they used to in the past. It's, it has nothing to do with how much they love you. They adore you. They just don't know how to communicate it. And this might be a great time to go and receive counseling. Because they move a hell of a lot slower than you. But they do love you. Okay, and for the other ones, if they don't pull it together and you ain't already married, boo, you got options. And we don't got time to wait. It's, it's, or get off the pot, okay? We, we're not playing that. Because we either moving in together or moving out. I'm just the same, okay? I'm just the same. Let's get anything that is hidden right now. Anything that is hidden. What are some clues? Something that needs to be brought to the forefront for Sag. We have the bouquet. All right. We got beautiful information. Enlightenment with the sun. Key information. Enlightening key information. Ending. A secret. And then overall block. So we're getting good information. Overall, it's going to be good. It's going to end this block that we have, like this confusion. Pay attention to the 4th, the 8th, the 9th, the 13th, the 16th, and the 23rd, the 21st, and the 23rd. Focus on your family. Focus on you. Watch which, what kind of energy y'all are mirroring to each other, okay? You are healing from something. Your money is going to get better. There could even be some family money coming in. See, there's that money coming in with the king of pentacles or with the man with the coin. And focus on your protection, okay? The number 53 and 35 is showing up. So there's something about mirroring each other. And there's also something about an age difference. And whatever you want is yours with action. Confirmation for you is seeing the number 888 significantly throughout the week or the month, okay? Okay. Let's jump into all signs. This is going Aries to Pisces. Okay, this is a general read. And if it does not fit, do not make it fit. Call me for a personal. Eow, okay, call me. Now I'm scared to put my drink down. I'm scared to not fall. I'm going to see here. Cutting the deck. You need to learn to trust your intuition, Sag. It's on fire. And you know you need to start something over and take control of the situation. So do it. Just do it. And do it. And do and do and do it. Okay? Just do it, baby. Are we ready? No. What was the song that was on when I was uh, shuffling? And I was like, that can't be their song because it was not a good song. Hold on. Who is it? Hold on. I have to look at my Apple Music. Maybe I Deserve by Tank. That message is for somebody dealing with that energy of now they got to see you with someone else. Maybe I deserve, ow, yes you do, boo, you deserve to see me happy with someone else but you, <laughs> ow. Okay, that was not a nice laugh. All right, let's jump into it. Here you are as the Ten of Pentacles reverse. You're not feeling complete, you're not feeling good, and Aries is still not sure what they want. And the solution is, I'm all cried out over you, Five of Cups. There, I feel like Aries is playing games with you, okay? And you were so strong in Aries, Reed. The fifth could be important. Here you are standing on business with the Nine of Wands. You're like, nope, you're not going to get the best of me. And Taurus is like, look, I'm sorry for what I did. I am hurt, but I think we can get over this. The solution is we have to talk about it. We got to get to the heart of the conflict. And there's a lot of lions in here. It could be over a lie. It could be over arrogance. The third could be important. Here we are as the chariot. We are going to victory. And Gemini said, come on over. Come on over, baby. But there could be some financial issues. And we're tired of arguing. I do believe there's a lot of arguing going on. And I do think you're about to exit the situation. The 13th could be important. 
We have the tower coming in for you, Sagittarius. Aww. And Cancer is hoping to heal that. Like, don't worry, I got you. The solution is talking and maybe a good quickie in the sack. All right, lucky day is the 16th. You are all out of love, and Leo is like, this is a false start, and the solution is we have got to stop being so stubborn if we want this to work. I just don't think Leo sees that you can offer them the stability that they desire, and you are just tired of trying. The 17th could be important. You could also get a revelation that day. Here you are as the <laughs> page of wands, which are mighty, mighty wand, yow, 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 having fun, being spontaneous, but protecting yourself. And Virgo is trying to make a decision about you. And we are praying and we're hoping that we're, and someone's not listening, okay? We're not listening to the prayers and Virgo is leaving. Um, I think you're feeling Virgo a little bit more than they're feeling you. Um, and we'll see what happens, okay? Lucky day, the fourth. Here you are praying and hoping for communication to change. Libra is all about the money. And we are very hopeful in this situation. Lucky day is the first. Let me see. Carib of arrows. What do you have for them? Unconditional love. You're very much in love with this person. Okay. That was Leo Ver Leo. Virgo Libra. Okay. Here you are as a fool. You're ready to jump right in. And Scorpio said, let's do this. Let's go for it. The Wheel of Fortune. But y'all aren't sure how you're going to do it. There's a lot of highs and lows, but y'all are going to go for it. It's going to work out. You feel like it's destiny. Okay. The 13th could be important. Here you are praying. You're very spiritual this month. You're praying for stability. And, um... Scor uh, uh, the other Sagittarius is like, we got it. We got this victory. We're doing good. And I do think that there needs to be more emotion, more love, more more of a connection. I always read for Sagittariuses that are married to each other. You're praying about some codependent behaviors and emotional blocks. The 16th could be important. Here you are feeling pretty complete and happy and very successful. And Capricorn is ready to go all in with you. They're ready for it. They want to celebrate. There could be talks about children. We're really moving forward and family is moving in the right direction with the sixth. Here you are wanting an unconventional relationship or a divorce. You're the Hierophant reverse. You're not really seeing this. And Aquarius is not even talking to you. They're like done. And we are bored. This is a very boring relationship. And we the 20th could be important. Here you are, all in love, and Pisces is like, okay, I got something to tell you. What is it? We need to make a choice. What are we making a choice about? Staying together. All right, beautiful energy for the 17th. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed month. Come hang out with me for your work read and take care.